So hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to find the square root of a number by using SQRD function, which is present in the math package. So I'm going to show you live demo of it. So currently, I have a class name calculate, and I also have a function void main. So it's just basic things are here. So now what we do is the math class is actually present in the lang lang package in Java. So first, I need to import that. So just go and type at the top of the program import. Java dot lang dot and math. So as you can see here, we get that. So once we have imported this package, we are good to you ready to use that. So actually, first uh, I will assign the number and then I will show you the input. First, let me assign it as int n will be the number n equal to say hundred. Okay, and I will assign another int sq. SQ is going to be the square root of the number. So SQ equal to math dot SQRT. So you get the so once you run math dot you can you are seeing a list of options. So this much uh, options you can be used. Subtract, exact, next, double, multiply, min, max between two numbers. So basically there's ton of options that you can select all. Uh, among the math, all the math uh, functions, square root is uh, Famous because it's common to most of the program languages, even in C, C++. We have the same kind of stuff. Even in Python, also there is some import math package. So library there. So it's quite famous this math function. So okay. So SQRT. That's what we will do. So SQRT of it's going to take value again. Okay. Okay. So now we need to just going to we are just going to print it. Okay. System dot out dot print ln and it's going to be SQ. So now if I run this code, and we get an error. Okay, cannot convert from double to int. Okay, the main reason for is that once we go inside this, once we sorry, not I'm just not doing it. Just queue. Okay, once we go here, okay. As you can see here, so you can see a double. Okay, by default the SQ is accepts only a double A. So you, we need to. It should be a double value. Okay, so it returns basically a double value. So our SQ should be double. Okay. So SQ in bracket is going to be the same n, but only thing what you run is it should be a double. Okay. So now if we run it and we get the output as 10 okay 10.0 so it basically returns only double values and we need to store it in the form of a double so that's what that's why the error came here actually i did it purposefully this error to make understand this code so that's it thanks for watching and i've done many other complex programs in java and cc plus plus unity blender also I'll check out my other videos plus in my channel and thanks for watching